Mike died. So I know that um, it was a really great time watching the eclipse. However, I just want to point to this, uh, point this out to you. Um, if you're filming the eclipse, um, make sure that you have protection on your cameras because it can damage your cameras. But my sister took the risk because she had, well, um, the sun was almost totally covered, so that was okay. But if you did it before the sun, um, before the sun was totally covered, um, then you would have gotten your damage, uh, then you would have gotten your cameras damaged. So I am uh, explaining why I think it might. I, I explained that yesterday, uh, last, uh, my last video, but I'm just going to go over the reasons why it might be a bad idea to film a partial eclipse. Because if you try to film a partial eclipse, you probably can't do that because it could damage your um, cameras if you don't have protection. Now, like I said previously, um, this uh, next solar eclipse will not be in here in Illinois. We'll have to go travel to Spain or um, somewhere in Jackson, Tennessee. So we can watch that in Jackson, Tennessee. So, and of course, I'll have a video for that too if I get a chance to. But just want to give you guys a quick warning on why I think it might be not such a good idea to film a partial eclipse. Because, well, so, I hope you guys enjoy, and you stay safe. We, we also had some rain out here. I can show you right quick, but, and as you can see there, there's that, um, that piece, that, what, that guard there was not there before. It's now there. So. You can actually see some raindrops a little bit there, guys. See that? That's how you know it's raining. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and you stay safe.